Hi everyone, this is Lisa from K9 Clips, Dog Grooming Tips, and uh, this is Kate, and Kate is a very matted dog who's coming to be groomed, so I hope you enjoy this video. Um, these ones are definitely a little bit harder to do. She is really well behaved, but um, with the matting, it just takes me a little bit longer to get through all that, um, and you can see it's really thick, so I'm going to have to go quite short on her. I'm going to try to do a number seven clipper blade on her, um, but most likely I may have to use the 10 on her to get through all this. So hopefully we'll try with the number seven here and just see what happens. A lot of times um, it just won't go through at all. Yeah, so it's not even catching it at all. So I am going to just go for the number 10 and the owner is aware of this. That we have to kind of go to what we have to go to get underneath. And even the number 10 is having a hard time. Um, and that's one thing too, sometimes it really dulls out those blades on me really quickly. So I'm going to try to add oil and hopefully that'll help. But um, when they're this matted too, it kind of dulls out my clipper blade. So luckily that helped. The oil doesn't help keep them cool. I still have to watch out because they may heat up a little quicker. So right now I'm just trying to get through here. Oh, catch them again. Yeah. I'm try again. This just keeps them running a little faster. But it, obviously the blades are getting, yeah, dull. All right, so we'll move those into the to be sharpened pile. You can see her skin underneath is quite pink. Starting to catch again. As you can see, this. It's funny because her head, there's no mats whatsoever, so they brush her head, but not any of the body. And I'm assuming, and her tail. So her tail's really good, and her head is really good in face. So they do brush that, but they don't brush the body. I just find that a little funny. Right here it is matted. Right here it's good though. And I am doing a before and after video on her as well for my short speed.
and get many more subscribers like yourselves. I do really appreciate all your support. And as always, please uh, comment. This video will only be in the, the group. The membership group, so yeah. So, um, so I will be, um, if there's some recommendations or things that you'd like more specific in your group relating to my dog grooming content, you know, if there's something I can do to help make your viewing experience better, please let me do. I do uh, like to read all the comments and do my best to accommodate. just going to stop for just a second just to do a little short video. There we are, just getting a little bit more done. So stay tuned for the after look. Okay, and we're back. Thank goodness I have the pause feature. <laughs> That's um, as uh, much of editing that I will ever want to do. I see all the different YouTube channels saying how difficult it is to edit. <laughs> and uh, I'm just like, well, just Tell me everything you want to, but I can definitely see from some of their content what they're working on that you would require editing. But I just want to put as many videos as I can out, and that's why I do have so many more videos that I'm able to post for you guys. Because I don't have to spend the time editing, so... The most editing you'll see is pausing. I will pause if uh, a dog's going to get picked up or dropped off. So I do kind of do that in some of my videos. But other than that, that's uh, the extreme of my editing talents. And I'm sure I could learn, but I don't really want to. getting warm so I'm going to switch it out. It's always good, especially when it's matted. This thick way, and I can tell it's touching already, so I'm just going to, you can see how, or hear how it um, speeds up the clipper blade, so I just want to make sure they're really well lubricated. Because you want them to go as fast as possible and then they won't catch. And that also helps them to stay cooler as well. But the uh, oil does not cool the blades. It's only there for lubrication. All right, we'll see how I can get some of this thorough. So I can see what I'm working with. And I still will go back with the scissors to do them because okay. see if I can get in there any deeper. There's some mats in there. And I find I can't really get in between these toes. There, so I'm also just finish it up while I got her. Hey, I know. Yeah, she got sick of me with the clippers. 
so I can get a little bit deeper in there and it doesn't seem to annoy them as much and then I can get in between the toes a little bit better too but it does help to uh, start with the clippers not against people using clippers. I just prefer scissors myself. So that's whatever you prefer. And also as I'm getting uh, more and more of these videos on this group, you know, please let me know anything to improve it the videos like would you like me to talk more about what I'm the processes that I'm doing or or less and you just want to watch the video and don't want to have to listen to me blabber on I'm good with whatever you want so <laughs> there's the matting and I might keep that for the after video of my short just for something different I always try out new things for shorts and yeah if you have any idea for what videos on shorts that would be interesting to see for people you know, I finally get lots of subscribers for my shorts so I do like to put out regular ones In addition to my videos, I'm going to get another new one out that's sharpened just because my other one is still well it's not hot but it's warm so I don't want to start with a warm one it takes a little bit to cool down so usually I have three going at once and because I put that other one to be sharpened Yeah, it's matted for being finicky, the clippers, so I'm going to let them warm up, I think, a little bit. Yeah, do challenges. Okay, so... These clippers do not like dirty fur, so I'm going to switch again. I'm not having much luck here. Okay, 
third time's a charm. Or not. Okay, come on, baby. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. This does happen. From time to time. And I don't know why when I get them from the... But it is... Uh, I'm not necessarily thinking it's from them being sharpened. It's from the hair itself. Because it's obviously got stuff in there. Since I've already done so much, I'm going to continue. But if I sometimes I start out with really matted dogs, and all the clipper blades just do that right away, I usually uh, give them a bath the best I can to get the whatever it is in there because sometimes they're greasy and it just the blades will not work there we go thankfully it definitely is nicer to trim them first because otherwise you got a really wet dog that you're cutting but it does keep the blades cooler So I'm going to do the full video of this room for you, um, although the bath and clean up there won't be anything too extravagant. So please let me know if uh, for next time, like if you want me to do the full room or just kind of, you know, if they're matted like this, just do the groom and then I could end the video for you. Again, I'm just learning here what you guys would like, so I guess you could just stop watching <laughs> as well, because I guess there might be some people that want to watch the full group. But if everyone's saying don't bother, you know, with the rest, you can let me know that too, so. It's a little bit more resistant for the pepper.
along. Which isn't a big surprise. But luckily we don't I'm able to still cut lots of the nails off without much bleeding here. Thank goodness for styptic powder or quick stop or blood stop, I think it's called too. A few different names. Okay, so I'll do her face now. She's staying really nice for this portion of the grooming. Oh, there she goes. Booger there. You gotta watch out for those eye boogers. Yeah. under it there. And we'll get the comb, get the comb some of those maps out here, just right on the top of the muzzle. gonna use the comb here just to see what we got in here. Not too bad but you can see some clumps do come out. See that one's a little thicker, so I'm going to use the thinning shears in that one because I don't want to cut it right out. There we go. Those thinning shears do come in handy. But if that area was all too heavily saturated with mats, I would be shaving it down too. And I have done that to some guys. Because their matting is too deep or too, too close to their skin. So the thinning shears, when it's too close, I just basically have to use so much of the thinning shears to even get through it that... There's barely anything left if you try to comb it out, so there's no point to doing that.
this one's a little bit shorter. So kind of getting to that look what I want and then getting this side short enough to match the other side. And then we'll trim a little bit underneath. at the edge of the ear as well. So even though she's really well behaved, because of the matting, it does take me a bit longer to do because it is a little bit more labor intensive for me. And that's how I keep in excellent shape. <laughs> Dog grooming workout 101. Well, my upper body, anyways. Lower body is another story. Oh, see, and this one doesn't barely have any. So they work on this one ear, <laughs> but not the other. Oh, funny people. Okay. All right. So we are just going to finish up with the feet now. And we'll be all ready for the bath. So basically, once I get this done, the majority is done. And it's all smooth sailing from there. Lots of comments about these scissors. That they're too long and too pointy. But I've tried so many of the other scissors that these are they they feel the most comfortable. When they're too short, they don't you know, I like to use the center of the blade a lot, and I like to use the tip of the blade too much, a lot. So when they're shorter, I just, I don't know. It's just, you find the right one and you stick with it, I guess. But I like all the comments. Keeps me entertained.
nails done and then I just have to do the tail and then the bath and blow dry and a, a clean up which won't take long at all thankfully because there's no fur left. The nails are pretty thick and pretty long as you can see. But thankfully that quick is also receded quite a bit. All right. Right at the base here, there's quite a bit of matting, so I'm going to take that out so that I don't have to shave it down. You know, so far, I already did a little bit. And this, we'll just see what's left, basically. I don't want to tug too much on the hair, right? Quite a bit, just because I don't want a really poopy tail and a really shaved body. Kind of matches a little bit. The rest of her. There we go. All right. Okay, good girl. All right, I'm gonna save this poop. Later, and get her into the tub. Okay, good. like the bath process. Hence where the work coat comes in a little bit. Okay. Stretching her back legs out straight. So she has a little bit of resistance. Nice little marks always from their scratches. Usually they don't stay red for too long unless they're really trying to get out. I always have some marks on my arms from them. And the 
rubber gloves don't help because they just kind of tear through them with their nails. table and we'll do a quick little finish because we shouldn't have too much to blow dry or trim since it's basically all shaved off. get most of it out with the towel. Like I said, because there's not much fur there. shot of my hand. don't know if you could see it, but it's a little red just from her scratching. Okay, good girl. Come on. Now you stinker. Alright, yep, gotcha. Got you. Okay, here we go.
on. I'm thinking sometimes I can go a number seven after I've done this, but it's so close to the skin. Actually, I might as well try, I guess. It's not going to hurt. But this is already pretty close. But I know if I do use the number 10, it's still going to take off a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the number 7 and go against the fur. Because that still be um, not as close as the number 10. And it needs to keep a little bit of fur, just anywhere where I see a little bit sticking out. I'm just going to do that. The owners, of course, are aware of how bad it she was when she came in, so... My goal is try to keep her as long as possible, but it was pretty thick. There we go. is actually pretty sore from her scratching. I can feel it now. So anyways, I finish up with some ear solution. So I put these in all the dogs when I'm done grooming them. Oh, and actually, I see that I have to pluck her ears. I skipped that part, I guess. That's another good reason to do the ear solution, but basically the ear solution uh, dries up any moisture that may have gotten in there during the bath. I don't usually show it on my regular videos. I just kind of, after I'm done the videos, I finish with the solution. And then I brush the teeth. I won't be doing the teeth yet for you. There's the one ear. It's hard to see. There we go. With the background being the same color. And then I get a kid's toothbrush and toothpaste for pets. Alright, just a little brush. Right, it's okay. Yep. This is why I don't show them all on the videos. There we go. That takes a little bit of maneuvering sometimes to get it done. <laughs> you like that one? Okay, just gotta do the other side. Alright, so this way I'm just gonna hold her this way. And then I'll get me the back side on this way. Okay. So basically I'm just holding her by the back of the head on the top with my thumb here. And that keeps her in place so she can't pull away. There we go. Good girl. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Without all the ads in there.
and without me asking you several times to subscribe. <laughs> and uh, But please let me know if you'd like to hear something that I didn't explain better for you. Oh, and, and just other videos you'd like to see, of course. I'll keep putting out uh, some pools and stuff as well. And uh, we'll get better and better. So thanks, and I appreciate your support. We'll see you again soon.